In this video, we're going to take a look at sequences. And in my first example, we want to list the first five terms of the sequence. In order to do that, we're just going to plug 1 through 5 in for n. So we're going to look for a of 1, a of 2, a3, a4, and a5. And when we plug 1 in for n, we get 2 divided by 1 plus 3, or 4, which is equal to 1 half. When we plug 2 in, we get 2 times 2 in the numerator, which is 4, divided by 2 plus 3 is 5, so 4 fifths. When we plug 3 in, we get 6 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator, and that is equal to 1. When we plug 4 in, we get 8 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator, so 8 sevenths. And when we plug 5 in, we have 10 divided by 8, which is also equal to 5 fourths. In the next example, we want to find the formula for the general term a sub n of the sequence. And our sequence is 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. So in this problem, we're going to work backwards from the way we did it in the first example. So we want to find a sub n. And here, a sub n is equal to, now we want to look at the pattern of the numbers. So here, if you notice that we go from 2 to 5, which is an increase by 3, from 5 to 8, another increase by 3, 8 to 11. So we're going up in values of 3. So we have 3 times n. Now if we were to plug 1 in, we would have 3 and we need 2. So we have 3n minus 1 gives us 2. And now if we double check, if we plug 2 in for n, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5, and we could continue to check and find that a sub n is equal to 3n minus 1. So that is the formula for the general term a sub n of this sequence. In example 3, in example 3 it says determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. If it converges, what is the limit? So what we want to do is take the limit as n approaches infinity, and if we get a finite number, then we're convergent. And if we don't, then we're divergent. So when we do the limit as n approaches infinity of 2n divided by the square root of n squared plus 1, first thing I want to do is divide everything by n. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 2n divided by n will leave me with 2 divided by, now when we put n under the square root, it's going to be n squared. So n squared divided by n squared is 1, plus 1 divided by n squared. And now the limit as n goes to infinity of the numerator is 2, and of our denominator, when 1 over n squared goes to infinity, it's 0. So we have the square root of 1, which is also 1. So it's equal to 2. So here we're convergent. So this sequence is convergent, and it converges on 2. In the next example, we have determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. If it converges, what is the limit? So we want to do the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite n plus 1 factorial. And remember, n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on. So we can rewrite n plus 1 factorial as the limit as n approaches infinity, 
and then we can write it as n plus 1 times n factorial divided by n factorial. And now our n factorials will cancel and we're looking at the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 which is equal to infinity. So this sequence diverges. And that's our video on sequences.